G'day everyone. Today in this video, we're going to be going over the basics of how to use pages in the vMix GT Title Designer. Page animations are standalone animations that can be called on command. So they're great for being able to cycle through content on your titles. Now keep in mind that you will need to have vMix 4K or Pro if you wanna use these animations in your productions. Now, for example, on the vMix Funtime Live Show, we use pages in order to go down a list of different uh, things that we wanted to talk about. So we had point one, point two, and point three. So we use the pages in order to cycle through those and decide which ones were being displayed and hidden at each time. Now I'm gonna quickly jump over to vMix here and show you an example of how it all works. So as you can see on the left-hand side here, I've got some content, I've got a title, that's got a headline, and then it's got four different points available down here. So what I wanna do is choose when each of these points are displayed so I can talk about them. So let's just display this. So as you can see at the start, we have a transition in. So the background and the headline appear on the transition in, but none of the other content appears. That's because the other text elements are being transitioned in based on a page behavior. So what I'm gonna do is right click here and you can see that I have the transition in, down to transition out, but then I also have page one, two, three, and four. So when I select page one, you'll notice that point one appears. That's because on the page one transition, I had point one deciding to fade up to display, but then points two, three, and four are hidden. When I go to page two, it will then display point two and keep three and four hidden on page two. Then when I go to page three, again, the same thing, and then page four. So each of these text elements have been linked to different pages to do different things. So as I mentioned before, on page one, I'm going to display the first point, but then on the other text elements, I'm going to keep them hidden. And then obviously I can transition these away like so. All right, so that might've been a little bit confusing. So now we're going to go over uh, to the GT title designer and show you how to set it all up. So I've created a title here that's very similar to the title that I've just shown you in vMix. As you can see here, I've got a background rectangle, I've got a headline, and I've got three points. So point one, point two, and point three. All right, so first things first, what I wanna do is transition in my rectangle. So I'm just gonna to go to animations. I'm gonna make this a fly from the bottom. Like so, let's make this ease in. And so when we show this, as you can see, that's now the background is now faded up. So that's the first thing that we wanna do. All right, so then what we wanna do is we wanna throw up the headline. So let's make the headline fade in when the rectangle finishes. So we'll just go to this point 0.3, point 0.3, ease this in. Okay, so this is what happens now with the transition in. The background fades up and then we have the headline up here. All right, so this is when the page transitions come into play. All right, so let's select point number one. So when it transitions in, we don't want it to display. So for all of our points here, we wanna make sure that these are hidden. So point two, we wanna make this hidden on the transition in. Point three, hidden on the transition in. So when these transition in, they don't display. So that's what we want to happen. We wanna control using the page transitions when each of the elements display. So let's head back to point one and then let's delve into the pages. So for page one, what do we want point one to do? we want it to fade in. So we're just going to do this as a basic fade. So now on page one, point one is going to fade in. So let's just do a quick test here. Now you'll notice that point two and point three are still there. That's because we haven't set any behaviors for those for page one. So what we now need to do is select point two and we need to choose what behavior we want that to have. Now we want that to be hidden on page one. So when we display, the page one, we want only the first point to display. So then with point three, we want to also for that to be remained hidden. So when we select this for page one, now we only have the first one displaying. All right, so now we need to work out the behavior for page two. So now point one, we want that to remain there. So we're not going to worry about page two settings on point one. Now, however, if you had some sort of elements where you might want point one to disappear on page two, you could go to page two and select maybe hidden um, if you wanted that to remove or any other function that you want to occur for that. All right, so let's go to point two. 
Now, as you remember before, we set page one for it to be hidden on. So let's go to page two. So page two is when we want it to display. So let's fade this on page two. Okay, so now we need to go to point three and we need to make sure that this is hidden on page two because we don't want it to display yet. So now on page two, we're going to have point one will be there, point two will fade up and point three will be hidden. So that's exactly what we want. All right, so now let's go down to page three. So on page three is finally when we want point three to display. So we're going to select fade and we're just going to fade this up like so. So now we go to page three because point one and point two are already there. Uh, on page three, this is going to display point three. All right, so that's how you set up pages. Now we're going to go back to this, the base layer here and transition out everything. This is an easy way. This is how I like to do things to make it simple. Uh, and let's just transition this all out. Uh, and then, so this is what will happen. Transition in, transition out. All right, so let's save this as something. Let's save this as pages two. And then we'll jump into vMix and we'll make sure that it's all working. All right, so let's go ahead and add input. Go to titles, and again, if you're using, if you've saved it recently, you'll be able to see it here. Pages two, let's click OK. Okay, okay. So now let's just overlay this onto our production. As you can see, we set the transition in to make the rectangle appear, the headline appear, and then if we right-click on it, now you can see page one, page two, page three. So let's go to page one. This is point number one. Page two. Page three. Then we transition this out. And that's exactly how we set that up in the GT title designer. Now you don't need to just use the right click here to select page one, two, and three on the transitions. You can actually create shortcuts as well. So if you go to settings, shortcuts, let's add a shortcut. And the function that we need to choose is select index. So I'm going to select index, then I'm gonna go down to my pages two then I'm going to select the value. So I'm gonna select page one as value one. And then I'm going to click OK. Then OK, so now when I press the A key, it should just display point one. So here we go. There we go. So I can go through and set up those for the other two as well. So if I go into shortcuts here, I can clone these just quickly. Make this S set this to number two. So now I've got the S key showing up the second point, And then if I go through here, and then I get the D key showing the third point on page three. Okay, so now I'm going to press the S key. So that's going to display the page two animations. And then the D key will display the page three animations, like so. So I can also move through the different page animations by using the uh, next arrows underneath the preview of the program if I've got that input there. So if I move this here, let's just remove this again, let's just transition that in. And then I can use the next one to go from page to page one animations, page two animations, page three animations, like so. And I can also set up shortcuts for this as well. So if I go to settings, shortcuts, let's just add one. And then it is next item is what I'm looking for. And then I want to select the title. Okay, so let's just transition this in again. So when I hit the space bar, it will go page one animations, page two animations, page three animations, like so. So that was a basic introduction on how to use page animations using the vMix GT title designer. Now, if you do have any questions or anything, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com as it's very difficult to answer technical questions via YouTube comments, especially about things like this. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.